a creation project, I created a cloud chamber in a uniform magnetic field. I did this by making a cloud chamber surrounded by a Helmholtz coil of 12 inch diameter, separated by about 6 inches on either side. The Helmholtz coil is powered by 18 volts on each coil, and it creates the uniform magnetic field that runs through the cloud chamber. This cloud chamber is created by supersaturating isopropyl alcohol. That means that when any impurities are inside the chamber, the isopropyl alcohol vapor wants to condense into a liquid and creates little vapor trails. When radiation is introduced, this should create little distinct vapor trails behind the path of where the particle has traveled. Due to the Lorentz force law, these particles should experience a perpendicular force to their velocity. This perpendicular force is created by the uniform magnetic field made by the Helmholtz coils. So in theory, the motion of these particles we see should be little spirals. This spiral nature is due to the particles losing velocity in a viscous medium. We do occasionally see this spiral effect, but it seems to be very rare. This may be due to the magnetic force not being strong enough. The problems I encountered for this project are visibility, mainly. The cloud chamber I created doesn't seem to always show the trails as vividly as I would like, and it's hard to detect on camera, so it's kind of an effect that you can only see in person really strongly, and it's not as strong as I would like. The cloud chamber also only works in low light conditions with bright LEDs, which doesn't really lend itself well to videotaping on camera. But you can still see a lot of these particle trails, even from the cheap little camera I have. Occasionally we do see a particle spiral through the environment, but it's so infrequent it's almost like a shooting star effect, so I'm not sure if that's due to the magnetic field I'm creating with the Helmholtz coils, or just due to the motion of the particle. If I had to do this project over, I would create a cloud chamber that lends itself to being videotaped, and also I would find a way to increase the strength of the magnetic field as I'm pretty sure the one I have is too weak to affect the particles. However, it is strong enough to affect the video camera, and the weird little moving lines you see going up the video camera seem to be from the magnetic field of the Helmholtz coils. I had a lot of fun working on this project, though. It was cool to work at low temperatures and be able to visualize particles. And even though the effect isn't as pronounced as I would have liked, it is there, and that's kind of a success. The remainder of this video will be spent watching the particles move around in the cloud chamber, which is very interesting on its own.